Good morning YouTube. Sunday the 7th of May, day after the King's coronation in England actually. Currently waiting for Benny, another member of the Cervelo team. Me and him are heading out for a little Sunday Zone 2 ride. Uh, a bit different to our usual Sunday rides. Usually we try and hit up some sort of sportive or something a bit special. The only thing about today's ride is that we are hitting a segment. There's a segment that's come from a local local club. We want to give it a shot. See what uh, see what time we can lay down. It's in the time domain that me and Benny are normally pretty good at. We hopefully get it in maybe 17, 18 minutes perhaps. I think the current uh, KOM is about 18 minutes. So I'm currently waiting for Benny at the moment at the end of my road. When he gets here, we get rolling. A little warm up, 15 minutes up to the segment start. Um, then we'll smash it. I'll get some data on the screen for it. Uh, let us know what you think. If you're hitting it yourself, let us know as well. Let us know your time. You alright? Okay. Good man, a bit fucking... The warm up pretty much done. About to hit the second with Benny. He's got high hopes for himself, I think. <laughs> uh, I think KOM's about 18 something minutes. So hopefully we'll get it under that. That's the aim anyway. Don't know how much under. So uh, yeah, I think we're gonna. We're, there is rules to this segment. We're not allowed to lead each, lead each other out, which is fair enough. So one of us is gonna go first. I don't think we've flipped the coin yet. Um, You're going first. <laughs> I'm going first, Benny says. Um, he's going to try and catch me, that's exactly what I want, I want to do. <laughs> um, yeah, watch along, I'll put the data on the screen. Uh, let us know your time if you do it as well. Um, I'm looking more at people like Chaz and Al Don. Let us know you got on with it. Go on, Luz. So, here we go. Starting the segment. Starts off uh, with a nice little roll in off a roundabout, um, nice and flat through an industrial estate before kicking up onto the railway bridge. Uh, it's nice once you crest that railway bridge, it then drops downhill. You can then drop some more power in, and really from there, the segment starts in my mind. After you drop down the hill, put in a few watts, you then go through a, quite a tight bit. As you can see there, I got squeezed by an oncoming car. Um, a little bit annoying, a lot of potholes in this route. Started to make some invasive manoeuvres. Um, as you'll see, the route is littered with potholes and massive puddles. So you're constantly dodging these potholes and puddles, um, and grit and dirt on the road. Again, on this corner, big puddle, uh, force on the other side of the road. Quite blind, can't see what's coming. It's quite a nice, I do like this segment. Uh, the only downside to it is the road itself. If it wasn't for that, it'd be quite a nice one. For me, once you go around this little corner here, it's quite a tight little bend. Once you've hit that, you get into the fast bit of the, uh, the segment. You can really start laying down some consistent watts from here. Before that bit, it's quite hard to be consistent. Uh, dodging all the potholes and the puddles, uh, yeah, it's quite tight and this car's coming. This bit is quite wide, quite open, the tarmac's quite nice. Right, this is where we start getting on to the turnaround, go right onto Spaniards Road, uh, or Spaniards Way I think it's called. A little kick up to another railway bridge. Um, I'm going to get to the end of this road. Again, it's a part of the course which isn't great. You lead onto a main road to head into Romsey. This could be make or break this part for the segment. And if there's any cars coming from the right, you can't really join on. I was quite lucky, there was a bit of a gap, it wasn't perfect, I kept to the left hand side. It's a fast moving national limit road, so 60 miles an hour, 56 miles an hour. From here, I was being fairly reserved on the way up, but there was a headwind on the way out, so you've got to put in some watts. On the way back now, you can really start sending it with a bit of a tailwind. Very tight left hand bend here. I had to unclip a little bit because there's some wet leaves. 
just to be cautious from here it's out the saddle really start to send it to get that speed back up again as we really reduce the speed right back down heading back now on the reverse I can see on my group track that Benny is heading fast towards me he is absolutely flying I think he was averaging about 35 kilometers per hour I think I can see him up ahead and get ready to shout him on cheer him on get him to bring up the speed he sets down a pretty good time at the end as you'll see as well so here's Benny heading up towards me give him a little wave um, tell him to, to go on and now we start smashing it I am starting to feel a little bit as you see my heart rate starts coming up towards the end of this we're right by the end of the segment now back onto that bridge again where that big paddle is fortunately it's not on my side of the road so I can uh, I don't have to be so evasive with it back in the tight part as well Start leading up to this last hill over that first railway bridge. I'm out of the saddle a bit at the start, putting some watts in. I sort of regret doing it at the start of the hill, should have done it at the end. The final 400 metres now, once the crest of the hill, it's downhill into that flat section through the industrial estate, and we're just giving it the beans towards the finish line. I can see on my Garmin I'm doing pretty well, and if you can see the duration at the top and you know the KO from this, you'll know I'm doing pretty well. And there we go, we have it. We have finished the segment. Well, that's my segment done. Looking good so far. Numbers are pretty nice. We'll uh, have a look in a bit, see what we got. Uh, currently waiting for Benny. Benny's still out on his, uh, on his smash at the moment. Uh, Garvin tells me he is half a kilometre away from me. So I've come back, get on the railway bridge, watch him smash it up this hill in the final descent into the finish line. So let's see if we can catch him. Come on, Benny! Let's go! Come on, big push! Let's go! Final 400! Right, that was Benny smashing over the bridge. He should be at the finish line now. Let's go catch up with him and find out how he got on. We're good? That was fucking tough, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> but there, uh, my legs were like... Right, caught up with Benny after his smash across the bridge then. We, were, we did pretty good times, so I'll let you know that. We're not going to tell you just yet. We're going to uh, head out for about another hour, zone two, and uh, then we'll do a little debrief at the end of the video. So uh, carry on watching, and you'll get to know uh, whether we've got that KOM or not. So, uh, how do you find it, Benny? Tough. Yeah. My yeah. legs are done. <laughs> Uh, I think we both did a we've done a couple of efforts the last couple of days, so uh, it probably wasn't best on these legs. So we might come give it a go in a couple of weeks at the end of the month and uh, see what we can get out of that. So uh, anyway, we're gonna head out to the forest, a bit more scenic route. So uh, watch along and stay on, stay on to the end to see how we got on. Myself, I was able to get myself to KOM at 1812. Ben, what was yours? I think 1833, so I had the calm until Lucian did it. Yeah. Even though he did it first. <laughs> so Ben claims second place. Chad's unfortunately, we've uh, chucked you in the third. Go have another go at it though. I think you can get it. Uh, we're up for a challenge. We'll hit it again soon as well. So, hope you enjoyed that video. But, uh, 
we hit uh, Saxon on Tuesday, so uh, make a little video of that again. I hope you enjoyed this one, obviously. Like and subscribe, and uh, see you at Saxon. <laughs>